meter and it's the method of placing a flow control valve in such a way that fluid is restricted to the actuator. In this circuit, without a flow control valve, the cylinder extends and retracts at an unrestricted rate. When we place a flow control valve into the circuit, this flow control valve will restrict flow to the cylinder, slowing the extend rate of the cylinder. The check valve allows return flow to bypass the flow control when direction of flow is reversed. When we move the flow control to the other line, the cylinder extends at an unrestricted rate. We can restrict the flow to the cylinder so that it will retract at a reduced rate. The advantage to meter in is that it is very accurate with a positive load. However, when the load goes over center, the load becomes negative or overrunning. The load is no longer being controlled by the cylinder. As the load overruns, it causes the cylinder to cavitate. Although meter in is usually the best placement for controlling a constant speed because it also dampens flow and pressure transients, it may be required in some applications to meter out. To meter out, we simply change the direction that the flow is allowed to pass through the reverse check. This will cause the fluid to be metered as it leaves the actuator, which is opposite of meter in. An advantage of meter out is that it will prevent a cylinder from overrunning and consequently cavitating. A disadvantage to meter out can be pressure intensification. This can occur with a substantial differential area ratio between the rod and piston. When we meter out on the rod side of the cylinder without a load, the pressure is intensified on the rod side. This may damage the rod seals. Meter in or meter out has advantages and disadvantages. The application must determine the type of flow control valve placement. In this learning lab, you will learn to place the flow control valve correctly in the circuit that will give the proper meter in and meter out result. Study the circuit carefully and choose from the two flow control valves in the lower right hand corner and place them in the circuit. Press the extend and retract buttons to see the circuit work given your configuration. When you have completed circuit 1, select circuit 2 and circuit 3.